Okay, guys, that's where we're at today. We're gonna do some uh, cabinets. Uh, I've already primed them, uh, sanded them, cleaned them. Uh, but what I am gonna do is just gonna make a video uh, in regards to caulking in the front, the seal right here. So I use uh, a Sherman Williams product. It's called White Lightning. What I want you to know is that on the tip, it's very important how do you uh, go about cutting the tip. So as you can see, hopefully you can see this, you only take a bit of a sliver, just a little bit, and you wanna put it at an angle, okay? You don't wanna cut it off too big because it'll produce too much cocky, and it'll get everywhere and make a mess, and you don't need that much. And this is just to seal, seal the crack, okay? So once you get that, then you wanna get your bucket, okay? This is a bucket of water, you wanna get a rag. You wanna get a rag there, too. Sorry. You wanna get yourself a rag, okay? Put it in the bucket. Okay, you wanna wring the rag out, make sure, that you just want a damp rag, like if you're gonna wipe off your table, kitchen table or something, okay? It just needs to be damp, okay? And then after you do that, oh, let me fix this camera. So after you get the rag and you get it damp, I'll bring this over here so you can get a little closer. Bear with me. Okay, your rag is damp. Then you're gonna take your rag, your damp rag, and you're gonna get your surface moist, okay? Not soaking wet, just a little moist. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help the cotton when you lay your V, it's gonna help it be smooth, okay? So then you're gonna run a bead of cotton, and you don't want that much, you're just gonna do a little bead. And when you move down, make sure you move with a little bit of speed, okay? Just like that. Any kind of stuff like that, don't let it get in there. Okay, so let's see if you can see this. Let's see. So you see the cocking in there? Okay, that's just a little bit of cocking. Okay, so then you get your, you get this, uh, oh, that's, the guy that owns these cabinets is calling me right now. <laughs> Anyhow, so then you're gonna have your moist hand, you're gonna run it down that bead, and you're gonna pull out any excess. Just like that. Okay? And as you can see, it's not going all over the place. If you have cocking going all over, like, Pushing out everywhere, that means you're using way too much, okay? But you wanna push, use your finger, and keep it moist. When your finger's wet like that, it helps it slide, helps the cotton slide out, okay? And then you can use your finger like this after you get all of it out, and you can kinda just lay it off, okay? I know it looks a little bit easy how I just did it. It's not. <laughs> so anyways, let me show you. So there's your, that's your final. And it seals that crack that's in there. I'll show you one that's not cocked, okay? So this one has not been cocked in. And you'll have like, Little cracks like that. And this is a tight cabinet, so when they made it, they stapled it in pretty good, nailed it in, but sometimes this cock or this crack is pretty bad. So anyways, that's just to cock that in, that's an example. Um, and there you go, keep your hands clean, hands wet, right moist, and that's all good. Thank you very much. SM Painting, Chico's favorite painter. All right, coming in. So this has already been laid down, but I'm gonna lay some more on top of it. That way we don't ruin their stuff, I'll just lay over. Look how beautiful this tile. <sighs> This tile came out beautiful. So I, I did all this. This is what else I do. Not really. I didn't do that. Anyways, but I'm going to do this. So anyways, we're going to get this cleaned up. We're going to lay some more uh, paper on the floor. That's the dog. Going to get all this masked up. Maybe even prime today. We'll see what happens. All right. That's some painting. Okay, guys. Still back on this... Uh, job with the cabinet it's a two, two, two chamber situation so we're gonna ask to get this here get our setup and we have another plastic that I'll tie myself into the bathroom okay we got a window here oh you can't see <laughs> window here fan blowing out so we're gonna get this all primed okay we redid the floor and then uh, I'm gonna put a drop over it. So I will tape myself into here. And that way there'll be no, no fumes going through the house, dust, anything like that. So there we go. I'm about to get this sprayed out. Just wanna show this uh, new addition to the trailer. After all these years of having this trailer, I finally got an electric <laughs> jack. Look at that. If that's not the greatest thing in the world, after a long day of work, nobody wants to jack this thing up by hand. Now you just push the button. If you ever think about investing into one of these, do it. I think they're like 200 bucks or 250 bucks. I can't remember how much I paid, but anyways. Even cools with a cool light. Like, you can't see it. We're in good night, we're in daytime, but, anyways, man, that is a beauty. All right, we're back on this job. Just sprayed out this cabinet. I got the doors and stuff inside the, uh, the other room, but 
there you have it. Nice glass finish. I sprayed a coat on, waited about a half an hour, came back and top coated it. Actually, it's been about an hour. But yeah, so now tomorrow I'll come back, take it all apart, reassemble everything, and paint all these walls. There you have it, that's some painting. Chico's favorite painting. There you go. All right, folks. There you have it. Bathroom is complete. Look at those cabinets. Oh, came in here and painted this all up. They look great. Painted this door, all the trim, walls, cabinets. Man, you just gotta set the mirror. We're done. Have a great day.